are. I'll find out someday. I'm just showing my face to be familiar. If you can wait a little longer, you'll see the bombers reborn. I'm looking forward to it. I will now begin my report. I compiled Akito's data with the results of Banjo's previous investigation with the in and the results of Banjo's previous investigation with the info we've gathered from previous battles. Go on. Yeah, let's hear it. I concluded the enemy's recent movements within the atmosphere are merely a diversion to keep to keep our attention focused here. I believe the enemy is taking this opportunity to prepare their forces for a large scale assault. So you're saying we've fallen into the enemy's trap? It would seem so. If we hadn't gone along with it, the enemy would have used their hired goons to destroy New Bell Tokyo City. New Bell Tokyo City is the hub for the world's rail system. If destroyed, the entire world would fall into chaos. A planet-spanning rail system. As opposed to using aviation. Sure, whatever. Look how quickly they were able to organize after deploying war on, war on the Earth Federation. What a terrifying foe. It's fair to say that whoever's supporting these guys is the so-called great, e so great evil. The great evil? That's not like something out of a storybook. This is no joke, Angie. No, she's right, because this is pure evil we're talking about. I mean, to be fair, as far as things out of a storybook, you were sent to a prison frontline base thing that involves fighting hordes of dragons. What do you mean? Supporting criminals, fending the flames, it's getting war. Can't imagine what drives them to do those such things. Ooh, excuse me. The only thing I'm certain of is they intend to drive our world into chaos. See, they're practically cartoon villains, even if they haven't declared world domination. Seberuda! You are a fan of Giki Gengar 3, a super robot anime. You exist in the same world as Brave Express Might Gain and its Rogues Gallery and its pilot Mido's Rogues Gallery, which are absolutely super robot villains. You have less of an excuse for saying, hey, they're practically cartoon villains than Wash had on Firefly for dismissing something as being science, as sounding like science fiction. And further, I should mention, because you are a Jovian and part of your society's military culture is based around super robot anime, you are less self-aware or you have no excuse to not be self-aware about the statement you just made we don't even know what we're up against and our enemy is always one step ahead how are we supposed to turn the tide there is a way now we're talking the enemy treating us as an idle threat has in turn let their guard down why does that line go for from a uh, return of the jedi um, what was it from Mon Moth was breeding, briefing? Um, all right, a second. Ah, yes. The Emperor has made a crucial error, and the time for our attack has come. It's basically... This is the equivalent of that. And that's given Akito and I some leeway. We should know the location of their base soon. And many Bothans will hopefully not have to die for this information. 
That was pretty cold of you, Banjo. Why couldn't you tell me you were going after the enemy? I'm sorry, I had my reasons. But hey, relax. We're about halfway through this game. It's like only 30 or so missions. Okay, it's 50 missions locked. We're not even close to halfway through the game yet. We're almost done with this act of the game. Now, Chaz, never mind that for now. Here's what we discovered. Analyzing, by analyzing Benjo's data, we developed a compiled list of terminal colonies we identified as enemy frontline bases. But Shirohima wasn't the home, only one. It's hard to believe that there could be this many. I'm assuming if we went the other route, we'd hear about what's going on with Shirohime. What's the plan, Ruri? Take them out one by one? No, we'd be only be wasting our time. How so? Terminal colonies may not serve as relay stations for potion jumping. If we do our best, we can draw out the enemy forces and, force, and focus their attention to a single location. Fail, and we have their whole fleet after us. Even if we do show up, who's to say it won't be deserted? Right now, I believe we've, that the best strategy is to find the enemy's HQ and launch our all-out assault. The enemy's headquarters? Do you think it's Shirohime? I doubt it. It's hard to believe they'd be so quick as to reveal their weak point. But who, but who can really say? It's that theatrical terrorist Kusakabe we're up against. It's likely that our confusion is all part of the enemy's plan. Simply put, it's game over, huh? We can't just sit here and wait for the Bars and successors to make their next move. Damn it! Isn't there something we can do? There is. Really? I mentioned earlier that the enemy sees us as a threat. So we will serve as bait and wait for them to bite? Yes, we will need to return to space. I see. So then it becomes, we'll analyze their movements to pinpoint their HQ. And if we make any obvious movements, the enemy's hired thugs will try to stop us. Returning to space, we'll have to wait until we turn the tables on them. You be careful, though. With Joe the Ace on their side, they're hardly your everyday thugs. That man again. He's no ordinary pilot. Team in battle? It's like he had military looks like he had military training. You've got that right. Something about the battle data might have collected on Joe bugged me, so I did a little digging. It turns out he was a Federation deserter. So he was a soldier. Called him some favors that got in touch with a reliable contact from the Federation. They said they'll send someone to brief us in more detail. Joe the Ace. When they move, they're sure to come after us. And when they do, I bet he'll be with them. I'm going to drink some water before I do these voices. So what am I doing in this vile hellhole again? It's cramped too, not fit to be a rat's nest. Incredibly inelegant. I demand to Tommy in a gold screen at once. Shut up, all of you. I didn't invite you all here for the fun of it. Clearly. This is all, this is all Mr. X is doing. What could he possibly want with us? His transmission is incoming. Hear it from the man himself. It looks like you've all gathered as requested. Thank you. Spare us the formalities. Isn't it about time we see your face? I do not tell. I simply don't have the patience to keep conversing with a faceless man who insists on speaking through a monitor. I don't mean to be rude, but I have my reasons. You couldn't be more suspicious if you tried. But I'm also able to provide the compensation you so desire. The materials and funds that will allow Dr. Wolfgang to create the most powerful robot. A beauty that would dazzle even the pink cat, Catherine Vuitton. Oh. The help Shogun Mifune needs to create the Edo of his dreams. Backup that would allow Hoi Kao Lo to rule supreme over the underworld. Whoa! Accomplish what I ask, and it's yours. So he is so just to be sure, you summoned us here for a job? Would you tell us a bit more about it? My request is the confinement of the Nandesco squad to stationed in Nivelle, Tokyo City, and the destruction of the Brave Express Corps. To what end? Joe, who said you? Oh, who said you? 
Oh, who said you could be here? Shut up, Wolfgang. I'm the one talking now. So you must be Joe the Ace. I see. You've got a spark in your eyes. I'd like you to answer my question. I do not need to explain myself. Leave if you don't like it. That is not happen that's not happening. Might gain is to be my prey. So it's personal with you. Find that. I await word of your success. So that's Mr. X. I really can't stand the guy, but sacrifices sometimes need to be made. We in the Super Edo Gale Force will challenge Nandisco to a decisive battle. What are you talking about? The group name should be the Great Hoi Kao Lo and Company. Do you really think I'd go along with names as stupid as those? You geezers need to butt out. What? You heard me. I I don't have I don't have time for this. Wait, Joe! Wait, Joe! Wait! Stop, Joe! Wolfgang, why did you why did you come after me? You may be difficult, arrogant, and ill-tempered, but you're also the only one who can get the absolute best out of my robot. If you really value that me that much, I've got a request for you. A request for me? Oi Kaolo doesn't appear to know the identity of Might Games pilot. Don't tell him that it's Mitos and Puji. Why not? Because he's a coward. If he knew coward, if he knew the pilot's identity, he tried to have him assassinated outside battle. Kiryu and I will defeat him. I won't tolerate outside interference. You're not short on pride, are you? But I too want to see my Hiryu defeat my game. Then it's settled. Where are you going? Don't worry, I'll be back for the next fight. And when you see my next, it'll be, or that, should, that line should read if you see me next. When, when you see me next, it'll be the end. For Maito Senpuchi. The damn it all! You're an extremely unlucky man crossing paths with me again. Just you wait! I'll get you back for this, I swear! I don't have time to worry about low life punks like you. Thank you very much! You saved me twice now! Looks like you're unhurt. You're not terribly lucky yourself, running into that punk again. At least I meant meeting you again. Then you get your name the other day, so I've been looking for you ever since. Just so you know, I don't need your thanks. Save you without my intended, I just couldn't stand that punk's face. Liar? Huh? You were clearly worried about me after you drove him off. You're a really nice guy. Please wait. At least tell me your name. Joe the Ace. Joe the Ace? I'll tell you one thing. Unless you're hurt, I'd get out of town if I were you. What? This place is about to turn into a battlefield. And I'm going to defeat Maito Senpuji. Joe! Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider packing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.